Hello everybody. Today we are going to do a message from your past on loved one. So I really want you to connect to whoever your loved one is. We're going to pull some clarifying cards. Um, I don't want to do anybody specific today um, because I just feel like there is a few loved ones around and it's like they all want to get their message out. So we're going to pull a few clarifiers, um, maybe just to help you clarify um, here and there. They might not all align to you. Some of them will, maybe um, all of them will, but we'll see. So really try to clear your mind and we're going to try to connect with our loved one. We're going to just clear our space and allow this loved one to come through for you. Take a few deep breaths in. Right. So we can start off with the clarifiers and then we'll go into some messages from heaven so we can talk to them a little bit and see how they're doing um, any specific messages to you. And then um, we can go into uh, talking to heaven also and then some tarot and then we also have some oracle as well so let's just see let's pull some clarifiers let's see if this person can give you any clarifiers so maybe you have this feature you do this um, thing or they think this about you or vice versa this is something that they would clarify through them so let's see And it just seemed funny. So if this person, I feel like, may, might have been like kind of uh, um, like a comedian. The first card out we have is amazing. And I feel like this is more them telling me that you're amazing. Um, I don't know if they told you that often um, or not, but they're just allowing me to bring this through. And they're just saying that they believe that you are just so amazing. Um, and I feel like you kind of knew that as well. But I just, I feel like... Um, they really want to clarify that for you. Um, you could have some tattoos. They are clarifying tattoos. You could have gotten a tattoo in remembrance of them. Um, maybe they had a tattoo of you. Maybe you, um, got, like, just maybe you guys have tattoos. Maybe they have significant tattoos that you remember. Um, but tattoos is a signifier um, that they want to clarify for. So let's just pull one last card and see one more clarifier they want to give. Oh. Okay, so they gave me three. So brown eyes is important. So this could be on your side, their side. Um, brown eyes is very important. Um, and loving came out. And I feel like that's their clarification. That's like, yes, I am so loving. Like, I love them so much. Um, that is their clarifier saying that. Like they really love you and they think you're amazing and hardworking came out. So I believe they think that you're a hard worker, but maybe you also view this person as a hard worker. Um, but they really love you, I think. And they're, um, I feel like they want to just clarify that in here. Like I could just feel a lot of love. Like my heart just feels really cool. And like, I just feel so much love around me. And it's like, they're just communicating that they believe that you are such a special beautiful being and they love you so much so whoever this person is for you that you are connecting to know that they love you um, a lot and if you're like working on something new um like whatever that may be for you like you have like this new goal set for yourself it's like they're very proud of you um for that new goal that you have set for yourself they're very proud of you for how hard and dedicated you are towards this goal or maybe you just set it for yourself and it's like they're so happy that you're taking this new direction um for yourself okay so we have some extra cards here too okay so the first card out that we have are we are soulmates and i felt that because there is a lot of loving energy around here so i could feel um that there was soulmate energy around they definitely love you significantly um and they i just that amazing cards um they 
they are with the rest of the family and they want you to know that if you ever question if they are alone they have other family up there and guess what i said you they are never um i said something if they're alone they are never alone with this coming out as well but also you are never alone they make sure that they are with you um and i feel like if you have a passed on grandma um with a passed on someone else like your grandma is definitely there and i felt her at the beginning of this reading um i felt a female energy coming through and i was gonna i meant to mention that at the beginning um but if you have like a grandma that is passed on like she's definitely coming through and she um she, i she she's definitely clarifying like that she is with um people and if you if this family member that you're thinking of, um, or like if this is like not a family member, like of like specifically like or like if um, I just keep thinking like maybe a friend or something like uh, there's like a friend and a grandma or something like there's like something of that sort. I just could feel um, if there's like a friend that has passed on from you, um, like on your side, they're definitely like with your grandma, but like. Um, also, your grandma is there if you have a passed on grandma. But I feel like for somebody out there, if you have a friend who has passed um, and they like you ever like wonder about them or like something like that, because like for me, um, side story for me, my dog, when my dogs passed, I always wonder like, oh, are they with like my other dog or something like that? And it's like that just like keeps popping in my head. So I just feel like um if you ever think like if your other family members are like taking care of like this other person, like, yes, that is 100% true or vice versa. Like if you're you have a passed on friend and like you have a passed on family member, like they're connected um, and they're, they're like together and they're always with you. Like both of them are with you. I feel like there is definitely like two significant people not to get off track because I said this was definitely general, but I just feel like that message is very important for someone to hear. Um, so if you if that resonates with you or um, let me know, um, but definitely um, know that you are never alone. They are always with you. Um, this loved one that you are thinking of is always with you. They are your soulmate um, and they are with other family members, too. So they are not alone either. And they wish that they told you they loved you more. And I feel like they already told you that a lot. But like love is coming through and not to surprise because soulmate energy is coming out as well. So that's not to surprise um and this is just on the bottom i am i feel happy and healthy or i feel healthy and happy um this is on the bottom so know that they are very happy wherever um they are if they are with you with the family like they are super happy they are feeling great if they were unhealthy due um prior to their passing or something of that sort like know that that's no longer the case like their body is now free and happy and young again um let's get some messages from heaven and see specifically any other messages we'll only pull a few of these cards i did not oh, okay so we have one that just flew out let's see what this card says if i can grab it okay all right so the card is believe in yourself and your abilities we believe in you how beautiful is that um if you Two with the bird coming out, they definitely um, signify through feathers or birds or um, if you see white feathers, like that's them communicating with you. Um, but if you're trying to get somewhere or do something, know that you can do it and they believe in you just um, they believe in you just as much as like they did here. It's like they rooted you on here, but they're rooting you on more there. Um, and they also want you to make time for your happy ending. It is your time for your happy ending. And this card also came out. Find a way to bring harmony back in your life one step at a time. So just so that way, um, just so you know, if you are feeling down about something or if like you're feeling like you can't get somewhere and with the abilities coming out, the harmony and the happy endings, let's just say you aren't believing in like whatever it is that they think that you can do, right? Like you think that you aren't capable of getting to that happy ending or you don't think that you're capable of doing whatever it is that you are really set to. And it's like, we believe in you. Why can't you? Or where is that card? Where did the card go? Oh, it's right here. 
um, we believe in you. Like, we believe in your abilities. Like, why don't you believe in yourself? Make room for that happy ending. Find that way to take it one step at a time. Like, I feel like maybe you think of too big of the picture. Like, you think of the entire picture instead of just, like, how you can take that one step. Like, don't look at the entire um stairwell like just look at the one step and take it one step at a time and it's like along the journey it'll be easier and faster and you'll kind of just take off like of course at first it's going to be hard and scary but it's like you're going to get there and you're going to make it and you need to just believe in yourself everybody starts somewhere and I feel like for them like they really want to communicate that with you like there is something that you um want to do or like there's an idea that you have and it's like you kind of keep that in the back of your head because you're like there's no way I could get there but like why couldn't you yeah why couldn't you find that balance find um a way to make it happen for you make it make, make that a priority to yourself like you can make it happen if you try to make it happen but it's like all within your own head yeah you are within your own head you don't believe in yourself um you don't think that you can do it so it's like you kind of like reevaluate the thing like ninety thousand times um before you'll make a move and it's like why because you can do it you don't believe it but you can and that's exactly what they're saying it's like you why don't you believe in yourself like i know you can do it yeah if you stop thinking about it and like stop um like reevaluating the situation and like thinking of like what could go wrong here you are in this like happy thankful energy this like you finally got it you're emotionally fulfilled yep here you are you are feeling so amazing like you finally figured it out you're in this happy um like place of just feeling secure let's pull one more card oh i love that this card came out you need to go with whatever this is that you um like going into this reading i feel like you definitely had an idea of like the loved one that you want to communicate with and um like the questions or like the clarity that they brought wanted to bring through and i feel like you have an idea to go somewhere or do something and it's like you need to take that step you need to go there because it's only going to bring you happiness it's going to bring you security it's going to bring you financial stability like you're going to be very happy with um whatever it is it's going to bring you a ton of blessings and whatever this is and we just have let's see we have two cards right here that are out you need to make that decision because once you make that decision and you just go with it and i feel like you it's it's scary for you of course but once you make that decision it's like here it is happening for you 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 finally get whatever it is that you've been asking for it's something that you are ready to like get it belongs to you let's pull um three more tarot cards and then we'll pull an oracle and see the last message let's pull three more clarifying tarots about what they have to say oh i love this you got the star you are going to make it and whatever this idea is for yourself, like you're going to make it. This is a new beginning coming in for you. Um, It's like you're ready for this. As soon as you let go of that idea of like, I can't do it. It's like, here it is happening for you. And it's all within your head. Like, stop, let go. Yep, here you are. We're letting go of this fear and anxiety. We're letting it go. We're going to get out of our head. Yes, here we are. We're going to stay grounded. It's going to happen. We're going to find that security. And we're going to let go of this anxiety, this anxiousness, this insecurities right here. And we're going to find security in this situation. We're going to find the success. We're going to figure out whatever it is that you were asking for, wherever it is, this goal that you have set for yourself, like you have set it. And it scares you a little bit, of course, everything new does. But it's like, you're going to let go of it because it's like, where do you even start? If you don't start at all, like you can't ever say that you tried, right? And then who knows? Like, what if you do make it? You won't ever know unless you give it a shot. So like, just go for it. And I swear, once you go for it, like here you are taking that step. You're going to climb those stairs into your happy ending. Like you need that happy ending. Let's see. Oh, we got the tiger's eye, which is courage. I am courageous and this energy supports me throughout my life. I love that this um, came out with this reading because you are courageous. That's exactly what your loved one is saying. Like you are courageous. You are this beautiful being. You deserve nothing but the best. And I feel like with the soulmate energy coming out too, it's like this person was that person for you here um, 
on earth. Like they, they were that person that you went to to support you. Um, they led you in the direction that you wanted to go. They were like, no, this is how you do something or vice versa. Like that, th this was who you went to always. And it's like a little scary that they're not here, but it's like, I like that I hear honey, I'm on the other side. Like I'm rooting for you on the other side, honey. And, um, if, if they are called you honey, um, cause I, I would always like say baby or something, but like, if they ever called you honey, like that's signifying like for you that like, this is them and they're rooting for you on the other side. There is something beautiful and major coming in for you. And as soon as you let go of that fear and anxiety and that like energy of reassessing everything, I promise you it's going to happen. So I hope everybody enjoyed their message.